We read this list by, I think it was by Car and Driver. There was a joke of a list saying the three most influential cars of all time uh, were clearly the riders' favorite because they were not. And so we asked you to post in the comments what you thought the most influential cars were of all time. Understand, any one of these could be right on the list, but we felt like we put them in the best order we could. And so, yeah, Our list read. Is way, way better than car and driver's list. Go ahead and read the, um, read the list. You need a drum roll, Christian? What do you need? Drum roll sounds good. Sorry, we don't have that. Okay, good. Then moving on. Number five, the all famous Dodge Caravan. Woo! That's a game changer right there. The Dodge Caravan is a game changer. Please explain. People, people wanted to have more kids because they're like, hey, no longer are we restricted to just four kids in a car. Now we can have eight kids. And that's, that's why the population is gone crazy. It actually is the, the pure reason for world hunger now that you say that. You're right. And global warming probably too because all those little no, kids. No, no, no. You guys have it all wrong. It's the parts department fault for global warming that's in world hunger. That's it right there. What's number four? Number four, a uh, great vehicle, the 1968 Pontiac GTO. That's a cool car. Absolutely. Muscle car. In third place, the 66 Dodge Charger. Ooh. Ooh or, or any of the Hemi products of that era. Absolutely. Yeah, the Cuda, the Challenger, all those were good ones. The Javelin. In they got, they. you know what was great about those cars is they got amazing gas mileage. Like two gallons per mile? Wow, I just got the same reaction Christian gets to some of his jokes. Yeah, that's Cricket, fun, isn't it? Crickets. Dude? Crickets. Oh. Crickets. You got to bask in it and just we, it. Well, hold on. I in our defense, if we were waiting for the punchline, sir. <laughs> You're just sitting yeah, they get great gas mileage. That's the punchline. You can literally, well, in those cars, I've, I had a charger before, you can literally watch the fuel gauge go down. That's so funny. You barely make it from gas station to gas station. But the, but they are great cars. Agreed. And number two, another great choice, the 65 Ford Mustang. Ooh, game changer. See, this list is way better than the other list. Yeah, there's no, there's no comparison. I feel like that person doesn't understand cars. I would agree with you. Okay. I, you know, it, it's interesting. Look at the, the, when the Mustang came out, in the 60s, that was a very big generational change and a swing in society. It's kind of like where we're at right now in society. And then you've got, you know, what car in the next 10 years is going to come out and be that, you know, make that statement that the Mustang made. It's very interesting. What would you, um, what we need to do is get some sort of, um, what do you call those like psychics or whatever that can, can bring the dead back? Like you can talk to your dead grandparents or whatever. A, a priest? You want to bring a, a priest medium? On the show? Are they called mediums? We need to get a medium on the show and bring Lee Iacocca up and then ask him because wasn't he responsible for that Mustang? Let's team. bring him up and ask him what the, what the next. But we want to bring back younger Lee Iacocca, not old grumpy Lee Iacocca. Hey, we, oh, can can probably, we, we can probably get the actor that played Iacocca in the Ford versus Ferrari movie. That might work. Why don't, why don't we just get the real Lee Iacocca? We just get a medium and we dial him up. You pay a medium like $500 and they pretend like they're talking to Lee Iacocca. No, we could do that, but you said you wanted a younger version of him, so I don't know how you're going to go back in time. Well, you know how there's like the older version of Elvis and the younger version of Elvis like on the mm -hmm. stamp? Yes. We just want... Just Lee Iacocca kind of got a little grumpier as he got older. We want the like kinder, gentler, but we just tell the medium to die. It's fake, anyways. He'll dial up whatever Lee Iacocca we want. Oh, there we go. That works. But what would the next car be that would change the game like that? What car? This is our top Ooh. one. If only we had a drum roll. Um... 
So the number one most influential vehicle, according to our listeners, is the Model T. Of course. Of course, of course. Now, a bunch of people put Model T in the, in the comments because we have really smart listeners. Um, you know, obviously people listening to Service Drive Revolution, their IQs are probably 15, 20 points higher than most other shows. But the, the $100 there is going to go to the first person to put in Model T. Everybody else that put in Model T will get swag. Does that sound fair, Christian? Extremely fair and good choices. Absolutely. Yeah. Great I list, to, you guys. It was great. I have to disinfect real quick. Okay. Carry on. Are you afraid that Christian's going to give you corona through the computer? There's a lot of germs in downtown LA, man. I just don't want them coming through. There is a hole in the ozone above Jeremy's shop. I'm just saying that with the amount of aerosol that goes into that place. Oh, my God. This can was built in 1970. Dang it. Hilarious. Okay, good job, Christian. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching this clip of Service Drive Revolution. Now you can catch the full episode on YouTube, iTunes, or Spotify, or wherever you consume your podcast. If you have any questions, go ahead and post them in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you're notified when we post new episodes. I'm Chris Collins, and you can find me on Facebook and Instagram at Chris. Bulldog Collins, and I'll see you again on the next episode.